Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now in today's lesson, we're going to look at joints. Yes, and this topic is very, very important. Now, all along, we've been retrieving data from just a single table. We've been retrieving data from just one table. Now, there are times where you will be required to retrieve data from two or more tables. In such case, you will use what is known as a join. So a join is simply retrieving data from two or more tables. So let's start with this example. Now, if you look at the query on our screen, it says select employee ID, first name, department ID from employees. Now, the first thing you want to take note of is the fact that we have a column called department ID, which is actually a foreign key in this employees table. This department ID is a primary key in the department table. So if you execute this query, for instance, you will see from the query results, you know, that we have the employee ID, we have the um, first name, and then we have the department ID. Now, for department 90, we don't know the details. We don't know details for any of this department ID. So if you want to get the details of any of this department, what you should do is to query the department table. So in which case, I can actually rewrite this query as, let's just see, um, department ID. Okay, I can say select department ID. Um, department name. Let me see, take this out. From departments. Okay, so um, I'll execute this query. And then now we can see the details of each of these departments, okay, on the departments table. We can see that department ID 10 is actually administration, department ID 20 is marketing, department ID 70 is public relations, department ID 90 is executive, and so on. So what if you are required to select details or to select data from both the employee stable and the department. What are you going to do? The first rule to using a join is to know the structure of the tables you want to select from. Okay, know the structure of the tables you want to select from. Now, in trying to know the structure of the tables, you need to understand, you know, um, which one is a foreign key and then which one is a primary key. You need to understand the table that has the foreign key and then the table that has the, the primary key. Now, this is because you are going to be linking the foreign key column to the primary key column. Okay. Again, I repeat, you are going to be linking the foreign key column in the first table to the primary key column in the second table. The reason why you are going to be doing this is very simple. If you don't use a join condition, okay, or if you don't use a join at all, and you select data from two tables or more tables, what you're going to have is known as a Cartesian product. A Cartesian product is simply um, the multiplication of rows from one table with another table. So we're going to do a quick example of what a join looks like. Okay, so let's look at the query example on our screen. Our query says, select employees.employee ID, employees.first name, employees.department ID, departments.department name from employees, comma, department, where employees.department ID is equal to departments.department ID order by employee ID. 
So this is where the join condition actually comes in, where employees.department ID is equal to department.department ID. So you must reference the foreign key and the primary key in both tables for you to have a join condition. So I'll execute this query and then let's see the output. Good. So we have our query output. We have the employee ID. We have the first name. We have the department ID and then we have the department name. So we're actually selecting the data from two tables, the employees table and the department table. Another thing you would have noticed is that we used prefix on most of the columns. Now we've done this because um, if, you need to if you need to reference a column that is both a foreign key in one table and a primary key in another table, you need to use the table prefix so that the database knows that this column belongs to this table and then this column belongs to this table. That way you will not face an error. Okay, so this is our first example. In our next lesson, I'm going to show to you how to rewrite this query using the new syntax. So thank you for listening to this lecture. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.